Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for joining us for another virtual story time here at the Riverside Public Library. I'm Mr. Brian. So today we got some unicorn books for us. And my daughter let me borrow her little unicorn bow. So I have my little unicorn bow right here to represent our unicorn pride here for us today. So are you ready to do some dancing, some singing along? Don't forget, we're going to need our special friend. I have my special friend right over here with us today. Make sure he is nice and soft. We can give him a big squeeze, a big hug. We'll be dancing around with him, having a good old time. We're gonna do our wiggle wiggle freeze dance. So if you have some scarves or some egg shakers or anything you wanna put in your hands and shake around with, that'd be awesome here too. So let's get started. We're gonna do our zoom zoom to the moon. So here we go, we're gonna go zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Now, if you wanna take a trip, climb aboard our rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, let's put on our helmet. Let's get in our rocket chair. Let's wave goodbye to mommy and daddy. It's goodbye, goodbye. Here we go, five, four, three, Two, one, blast off. <sighs> Woo, good blast offs. All right, let's do that again. Here we go, we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard our rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's get our helmet on. Let's get in our rocket chair. We have goodbye to mommy and daddies. Goodbye. Goodbye. Let's start a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. <laughs> Woo! Good blast off, boys and girls. Good blast off. All right. Since we're nice and warm and stretched, let's have a seat and we'll start our first story here for us today. Our first book for us today, Unicorn Day. Words by Diana Murray, illustrated by Luke Flowers, and we're reading with permission from Source Books. Unicorn Day! Check out all them cupcakes. Do you think unicorns like cupcakes? Mm, that sounds good to me. Unicorn Day! Hooray, hooray, it's Unicorn Day. All unicorns this way. When unicorns come out to play, they have three rules they must obey. Rule number one, show off your horn. Be proud of being a unicorn. Rule number two, flip that hair. Make sure it's groomed and styled with flair. Rule number three. This rule is the most important one. Have fun, fun, fun! In the woods, there's tall trees sway. They sing the day of Unicorn Day. They sing the song of Unicorn Day. Sunshine, flowers, fairy wings. Today's a day for jo joyful things. Nay, nay, nay. Dance and play. Happy, happy Unicorn Day. They kick their hooves. They jump and cheer. And sparkle butterflies appear. They slide on rainbows in the air and love to braid each other's hair. They point their horns up as they fly and cupcakes ring down from the sky. Then after they had a bite, it's time to have a glitter fight. Look out, they're gonna throw, they're gonna get throw a glitter ball. Uh-oh. 
That's not a unicorn. That's a horse. He turns around to leave, of course. His horn's not real. It's just pretend. But they don't want to lose a friend. They tie the horn back on his head and give the horse a hug instead. Then it's back to... Fun, fun, fun! Remember, that rule's the most important one. <gasps> Looks like they're swimming. He's about ready to do some diving. Got some basketball way in the background. All right. They march together, tall and proud. And soon, some more friends join the crowd. Woo! Everybody's wearing a unicorn and horn. Clip, clap, clop. They trot along as everybody sings a song. You remember how the song goes? Cupcakes sparkle, cherry tarts, starlight twirling, Growing hearts, sunshine flowers, fairy wings. Today's a day for joyful things. Nay, nay, nay. Dance and play. Happy, happy unicorn day. The end. Woo! Good job, boys and girls. Good job. Woo! All right, I like some unicorn books. Unicorn day. What's your favorite part? I like the glitter fight. Ooh, my glitter gets everywhere too. Glitter fight. <laughs> All right. So now it's time for our teddy bear song. So everybody up, everybody up. Oh, nice stretch. Make sure we have plenty of room to dance around. Let's get our special friend. So this is my special friend. I have a little teddy bear with us today. Let's give him a big hug, a big squeeze. Can you give your special friend a big hug, a big squeeze? Oh, he's nice and soft. How about his feet? Where's his feet, his paws? Are they nice and soft? My guy has some nice and soft ones. How about his nose? Where's your friend's nose? Mine's right here, it's nice and soft. How about his eyes? Oh, I got some eyes right here. Ooh, they're a little on the hard side. I got some hard eyes on my teddy bear. And his ears. Some ears right here. They're nice and soft. And how about a tail? I got a tail on my teddy bear. Do you see his tail? All right. Ready to do some dancing with our teddy bears? Let's get our music going. We got our teddy bears. Let's see your dance moves. No, everybody has some good dance moves out there. Good job. All right, let's hold our teddy bear up really high so everybody can see. He's dancing way up high. Now we're going to make him dance all the way to the ground. Can you go all the way to the ground? Make him dance on the ground. Good job. All right. Ready to do some jumping? All right, here we go. Good job. Good dancing. Let's go really fast. Can you go really fast? Time to give our teddy bear a big jump, big jump. Ooh. All 
Alright, another big jump. Another small jump. Another small jump. Tiny jump. Super big jump, super big jump. Another big jump. Small jumps. Ah. Alright, we got time for one more big jump. Can you do one more big jump? Ooh. Woo! Good job. Good job. Dancing with our teddy bears. I don't know if any of you noticed, but we mixed it up a little bit. We did our teddy bears before we did our scars. So let's have a seat. And we got our next story. All right, you guessed it. We got another unicorn book for us today. You don't want a unicorn. Would you want a unicorn? I don't know. I think this book is telling us that we wouldn't want one. It's written by Amy Dickman and illustrated by Liz Klimo and read with permission from Little Brown Book and Company. You don't want a unicorn. I don't know, I think I would want a unicorn. We'll have to see what he's talking about. You don't want a unicorn. Wait! You were going to wish for a unicorn, weren't you? Wishing for a unicorn is a big mistake. Just step away and... Drop! Uh-oh. Things are about to get... Ugly. Trust me. <gasps> Look at that unicorn. How can he be ugly? He's a beautiful unicorn. Sure. Having a unicorn seems fun at first. Fine. It's awesome, okay? But it's not worth it. What you don't know is unicorns shed and scratch. And no matter how hard you try, unicorns can't be house trained. And you don't want that. Trust me. And don't even get me started on the jumping, the chewing, the burping. Can we burp really loud? Burp. A rainbow shot out. Hey, not bad. You probably could pull this off. If it wasn't for the biggest, top secret, nobody knows about problem with having a unicorn. Unicorns live in groups. And when a unicorn gets lonely, ding, 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 it calls a friend. Poof. No, right when you think this couldn't, this could be super duper fun. Poof, another, poof, and another, poof, and another. Great, you've unleashed the most destructive force in the universe. A unicorn party. Woo now this looks totally different from the unicorn party we just read. I told you, why didn't you trust me? Quick, grab your piggy bank, run! You have to wish them away. Plop, poof, plop, poof, plop, poof, plop, poof. Whew, that was close. Yeah, that one needs to go back too. It's for the best. Trust me. Plop. Poof. Uh, cheer up there, buddy. You could get a goldfish, or a nice rock, or... <gasps> what does he see on the bench? <gasps> oh, no! Stop! You don't want those either! Trust! Plop. Poof. What do you wish for? 
I think it's a dragon. The end! Woo! Good job, boys and girls. Good job. All right. So now we're going to do our Wiggle Wiggle Freeze Dance. So everybody up. All right. Let me grab some scarves for us today. So today we got a pink scarf or a purple. We have a blue scarf. Green. And a nice orange scarf right here for us. All right, you ready to do some dancing? Our wiggle wiggle freeze dance? Let's get it going. I got the wiggy wiggy wiggles and I can't slow it down. Squidgy, squidgy, Slow down, kids, slow down. Good job, boys and girls. Good job. All right, let's have a seat. And we got our last story for us today. All right. Our last unicorn story for us today. Sophie Johnson, unicorn expert. And written by Mirag Hood and illustrated by Ella Oxted and read with permission from Aladdin Books. Sophia Johnson, unicorn expert. Sophie Johnson, unicorn expert. My name is Sophia Johnson and I live with a unicorn. Well, not just one, actually. I think I have like 17 at the moment. See, everybody has a unicorn. It can be hard work looking after so many. There's always a lot to do. Luckily, I am a unicorn expert. I'm very busy teaching my unicorns everything they need to know. We start with magic. Then I show them how to hunt for food. Ooh, looks like they were eating some watermelon up there. And I teach them about the dangers of <gasps> pop balloon. Sometimes, my unicorns lose their horns. They all lost their horns. But I don't worry, because they soon grow back again. Living with unicorns can be a bit tricky. They are quite messy. I try to explain that magic is more important than a mess. 
But I don't think my mom understands. Unicorns have many enemies, so sometimes I have to protect them. Being a unicorn expert is harder than you might think. Really, it's a good thing I'm here. Some people don't even think a real unicorns are real. That's why they need me. Sophie Johnson, unicorn expert. The end. Woo! Good job, boys and girls. Good job. So we had some good unicorn books for us today. All right. So thank you for enjoying us at the Riverside Public Library. Have a good day. And don't forget, if you need some books, just give a call to any of your libraries. And we'll be happy to get you some books through our curbside pickup, our library to go program. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye.